Life is about shedding the darkness and embracing the light of knowledge. So let's get together and awaken our minds. Hello friends, thanks for joining me on the series of my videos uh, on awakening the mind. Uh, my name is Dr. Akash Ahuja and I'm a psychiatrist here in Los Angeles, California. I've done my medical school from Maulana Azad Medical College in New Delhi, India and did my residency from in psychiatry from Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota in United States. Um, the topic I'm going to discuss today is mood disorders the most talked about disorders in the world, uh, to be honest. I mean, uh, if you watch any movie which has Bollywood or Hollywood or even Tollywood, uh, there are a lot of characters who are shown to have depression. There are so many articles in magazines and all that. Uh, and uh, we talk about depression in so many spheres of life that our boss has uh, depression or our wife or the children or the neighbors and or in fact we have depression but it still surprisingly is one of the least understood uh, problems and least diagnosed problem proportionately um, so I thought that we'll be doing this video to educate ourselves uh, more about this particular deadly illness uh, which is not affect which doesn't only affect the individuals but the whole community and the society so let's talk about uh, uh, the, the series. I've prepared a slideshow. So we'll be discussing about uh, depression and mania. These are the two uh, big mood disorders. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the symptoms of uh, major depressive disorder. Well, the, the people who suffer from it, they feel sad, hopeless and helpless. Uh, whatever happens, they think that, uh, that they have lost it they don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. They think that their life is kind of over and nothing is going to happen which can make them feel better about it. They have decreased energy, decreased concentration. They feel as if uh, uh, they have to make up such a big effort to even get out of the bed. The things which are very normal and which they did all their lives, now they just don't have the energy to do that. It might be playing with the children, it might be watching a cricket game between India and Pakistan which they always wanted to, but now they don't have the energy, don't have the concentration and don't have the interest to do that. That's one of the classic symptoms of major depressive disorder. They feel guilty they, for everything. They feel as if it's their fault that they are not taking care of things and anything goes wrong. Sometimes they, even in different parts of the world, they sometimes think uh, that it's their fault. Their uh, sleep is uh, extremely uh, poor. Sometimes they sleep more and sometimes they sleep very less. But the quality of the sleep is very bad. And they are very anxious at the time of uh, going to bed. And they want to sleep, but they just, they just cannot. They just cannot have a good night's sleep, which leads to their being tired the next day. And the whole cycle actually continues. And the worst thing is that sometimes these symptoms become so bad that if untreated, they can lead to suicidal thoughts and these people do end up uh, taking their lives at time. And that's why it becomes extremely crucial to deal with it. Let's talk about now the totally different spectrum, which is the manic depressive disorder. If we, our normal mood is here, then depression is here and mania is here. What that means is that in manic depressive disorder, people have racing thoughts. They might be having like million things in their mind on any given moment. They act very irrational. They will, they might think that they are, they are so supreme that they can even jump from like 20th floor and will not, and that will not do any harm to them. They might think that they can walk across a busy highway, a street, and nothing is going to happen. Even if they hit a car or something, it will not affect them. Uh, their sleep is also very poor in a way that they don't need the sleep. Very different from the major depressive disorder in that people 
quality of sleep is poor but people want to sleep in this people actually have so much energy that they just don't need sleep i've met patients who have not slept for like four or five days and still they are kind of on the go and uh, and then they suddenly crash they take risks they are involved in uh, uh, risky behaviors and uh, dangerous behavior if they have a lot of money they will just spend it they will they might like buy a credit card uh, they, sorry they might buy like a car on a credit card or something like that because they are not even thinking rationally um, these people because they are involved in so many risky things and activities are a threat and danger to themselves they can get into fights and they can hit other people also again these are the two spectrums of depression and they are equally dangerous of course uh, obviously in different ways now let's talk about some of the causes of uh, depression and uh, some of them would be uh, genetic uh, and uh, hereditary uh, if somebody has depression in their family then their chances of getting the depression is higher than uh, than average population uh, social mishaps can certainly uh, lead to depression uh, in many cases uh, for example if somebody loses a partner somebody loses a job they get into an accident they get cancer they get diabetes all these big events can suddenly trigger um, so much reaction and it's a possibility that if they are prone to get a depression they they might get it now we have to keep in mind that a lot of uh, neurotransmitters are there in our brain and to name a few uh, which are very important for mood stability are serotonin and norepinephrine and in most cases of depression these two chemicals serotonin and norepinephrine which act in balance to control the mood for the mood regulation actually go down and when they go down they can uh, cause the symptoms of depression we should pay special attention in terms of children uh, adolescent uh, pregnant women and uh, also nursing women and uh, our seniors because uh, these populations are sometimes more prone to get depression and especially adolescent people uh, depression might not occur as like a or not look like a people having sad mood but uh, it might come across as more of an irritability so rather than just uh, warding them off that oh they are just you know young kids uh, and it's a phase uh, please pay attention that those tantrums actually might be a symptom of depression friends now let's discuss some of the treatments for depression uh, this is the most important uh, aspect well a lot of research now has been showing that yoga, meditation and actually exercising is very helpful in producing some chemicals in our body which can actually make us feel less anxious and depressed. Uh, interpersonal therapy is something which has come up uh, and uh, in interpersonal therapy people deal with the social issues, the family issues with the therapist. Uh, which might be causing symptoms of depression along with that um, antidepressant medications is extremely important part and uh, some of the medications uh, which uh, regulate the serotonin and norepinephrine receptors uh, which we talked about uh, are um, fluoxetine, sertraline, citalopram, escitalopram and paroxetine um, apart from these there is another therapy avenue which is known as cognitive behavior therapy and I thought I'll spend maybe a minute on that what cognitive behavior therapy does is that it deals with the automatic thoughts now, what are automatic thoughts automatic thoughts are thoughts which have no rationale but they just come into our mind I'll give you an example let's say uh, a depressed person uh, and by the way depressed people can think very pessimistically and very negatively so let's say a guy is depressed and he goes to his work and uh, he says good morning to his boss and the boss uh, doesn't reply good morning or maybe the boss did say good morning and he didn't see it then that person might automatically think that oh you know what my boss doesn't like me 
now and and then he can start thinking oh now my boss doesn't like me so then he can fire me if he fires me i will not get a good uh, job recommendation i will not get another job my children might uh, might be out of the college i will not be able to pay the fee my wife is not going to like me she might leave me all these chain of events get triggered by that single thought that the boss actually did not say good morning back to him so these are this is just one example uh, of uh, how automatic thoughts can really lead to anxiety and depression so cognitive behavior therapy actually works on that uh, i've added some of the resources here for dealing with depression um, so what else can be done um, for a person who is depressed he should set some reasonable goals of course if i'm depressed i'm not going to get well within a day even the medications take like 4 weeks to start acting but set reasonable goals baby steps as to what i should accomplish you know i should meet a friend i should meet a relative spend more time with the kids even if we don't have energy we should start doing those things and tell ourselves that you know what it's not me actually it's the disease i'm suffering from which is depression which is making me act in this certain fashion uh participate in family gatherings even if you don't want to don't wish to if they are pleasant please go there and watch a movie or sports or different things uh, which were fun for you before try to watch them again what can family members do family members also share some responsibility if somebody in their family has depression to start with at least they they can uh, not make the statements like uh, you are fine or just be tough or we are strong men and uh, and at least help them to see that Uh, that they have depression uh, be supportive towards them encourage them to see a doctor take the medications and uh, and hence uh, lead to their better lives friends depression is very powerful but we are more powerful than depression let's get some education about it let's at least acknowledge that it's a real disease which exists and which can really hamper the person and the community and the country and then we can deal with it thanks for watching this video Thank you.